Hello everyone, welcome to this three-part IBM developer video series on Tekton. My name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at IBM. In today's part, we'll be covering the history of Tekton, what is Tekton, some core concepts and features of Tekton. If we look at the industry for CI-CD tools today, we'll see there are a number of tools. Now, some of these tools are from pre-container era, that means the pipelines that you define in these tools, they might not be reusable. Also, if your CI CD server goes down, which typically is a monolith, then fault tolerance would be an issue. Now, keeping all these in mind, Tekton started as its own project actually from Knative Build Project. The Knative Build Project, being very popular, was spun off as a separate project. Although it originated at Google, Tekton was made open source. And since then, Google, IBM, Red Hat, and a number of individual contributors have contributed to this very popular project. Tekton is part of Continuous Delivery Foundation, the goal of which to be a vendor neutral home for the most important open source projects for continuous delivery. Now, what is Tekton? The goal of the Tekton project is to specify the API and provide Kubernetes native building blocks so that you can run your own build pipeline. The Umbrella Tekton project also hosts a number of sub projects for dashboard, CLI, webhooks, triggers, etc. Tekton project also provides a catalog of best practices for authoring tasks and pipelines that can be reusable. Let's look at some of the Tekton concepts and examples. The first Tekton concept is a step. Now you can think of step as the smallest building block for Tekton. In a step, which you can see portion of a YAML file on the right, you can specify an image, run a command, or take an argument. Now step is an existing type, which is a Kubernetes container step. The first new CRD for Tekton is task. I'll pause here and explain a bit more what a CRD is. CRD st stands for Custom Resource Definition. Now Kubernetes out of the box comes with resources such as pods, deployments, and services. But CRD gives Kubernetes the ability to extend itself. And that's what Tekton does. Tekton has defined a number of custom resource definitions so that it could extend Kubernetes capabilities. Coming back to task, a task is a sequence of steps. They run in sequential order on the same Kubernetes node. Tasks are written so that they could be reused in a number of pipelines. That brings us to the third type for Tekton, pipeline. Now, pipeline is a collection of tasks. These tasks within pipeline could run either sequentially, concurrently, or as a complicated graph. There is no guarantee that the tasks will run on the same node, although you can use pipeline to link output of one task to the input of the next task. And the portion of the YAML on the right shows a typical pipeline example. The last two CRDs are pipeline run and tasks run. Now you can think of instances of pipeline and tasks when you can think pipeline run and task run. Pipeline run and task run fetches runtime information for the task and pipeline, such as your GitHub repository or your image registry information. When we put all this together, a typical pipeline looks like this. As you can see, the individual boxes are the tasks, which could run either sequentially or in parallel. You could also pass on this entire pipeline to your team member who is working on a different project and they can pick and choose the specific building blocks they want to reuse for their project. Let's look at some of the features of Tekton project. The Umbrella Tekton project hosts a number of popular sub-projects. Tekton Dashboard is one such project. It's a UI 
that shows all your Tekton resources in a nice and easy way. You can also create webhooks from this dashboard. A number of IBM developers contributed to Tekton dashboard project. The next feature is the Tekton CLI. TKN lets you do all the tasks to create and manage your Tekton resources. Tekton Catalog is also another sub-project which contains reusable best practice tasks and pipelines which you can use for your own project. This brings a conclusion to the first part of IBM Developer video series on Tekton. In the next part, we'll have a demo ready where we take a Node.js application, build a container image from source, and push that image to a Docker registry. Till then, stay safe and follow IBM Developer.